Hello. Hi, everybody. I got my wife to cut my hair a little bit. It was getting long. I didn't like it. Should she go a little higher next time? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Let me know. Um, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Uh, I am. Snap packs are coming out. Uh, we're going to talk today about what the value of a snap pack is, what the value of uh, currency is now, which we could kind of speculate before. We knew after the snap packs were announced that tokens were going to be the best way to, or the, or the most valuable currency when it comes to them, that that's how they're going to be bought. But we didn't have conversion rates, we didn't have costs, and we didn't know specifically what was going to be in the snap packs. Now that we do have all that from a video that Second Dinner uh, did release about it, uh, now we can get into some specific math stuff. Uh, so let's go and talk about that and uh, say goodbye to Spotlight Keys. Bye. Look, an animation. That's pretty fun. So here are a couple screenshots from the presentation or the, the interviews, whatever you want to call it, the panel uh, that was presented. So we know that a brand new card is still going to be 6,000 tokens. So that will not change. Uh, that is specifically for one card. Right? Uh, seasonal Series 5 cards are going to be 5,000. Series 4 are going to be 2,500. And other ones are going to be 4,000 for the uh, Collector's Pack for Series 5, 2,000 for Series 4, 650 for Series 3. We're also able to get the store where uh, the 50 tokens every day, I think that's fantastic. I think it's a great value. It's pretty equivalent to what the 25 credits were, um, or I guess 75 credits every single day. Uh, but you had to go three times a day to go there. This time it's going to be 50 tokens once. Wonderful. So we know also know what. Now we also know ugh, what the gold to token ratio is, and uh, very fantastic that Lauren Whatevs did ask this store does look better than what Token Tuesdays actually are. What is going to happen with that? Where they said they're going to have to rethink what Token Tuesdays are. So that is something to factor in before you ever really buy tokens with uh, gold. But first, let's go into previous slides that I did make. This is just, I retooled this so it says Token Cash, no longer says Spotlight Key. Um, but let's let's figure out like credits to tokens. So you can't use credits to buy tokens, but you can use credits to advance the collection track to get to what I'm calling a token cash. I don't know if there's an official name for them, but that's what we're calling them, a token cash. That's 120 different collection levels. So you can use your credits to get to that. So one collection level is equal to 50 credits. 120 collection level times 50 credits is gonna be 6,000 credits. So it takes you 6,000 credits to go from one token cash to the next token cash. Kind of. I know there's some um actuallys out there. Don't worry, I will get into that soon. Uh, 6,000 credits, uh, you can kind of equivalent or equate 6,000 credits to 3,000 tokens since it takes 6,000 credits to kind of get between uh, both of the, uh, of the token caches, right? Which will then lead you to two credits will get you one token. At the baseline so it's two to one ratio next gold to tokens using that formula uh using the collection track formula so 500 credits you can get for 400 gold in the store which means five credits uh is equal to four gold since uh it's two credits for one token it's 2.5 tokens for every four gold so five tokens is going to be eight gold because you multiply that by two. So it comes to the uh, simplified ratio of a whole number. Uh, and then since you can get a thousand tokens in the shop, we're going to take that ratio and multiply the five by uh, 200 to get to 1600 gold. So next slide. It's different ratios when you look at it, where uh, it's 3000 tokens is equal to 6000 credits. And a thousand, that means a thousand tokens is equal to 1600 gold if you're trying to do this through the collection track itself. The store is offering 1000 tokens for 1300 gold. So it looks like it's actually better to get it through the store than it is through 
uh, tokens themselves. Sorry, through, through credits themselves. Look at that little girl and her belly. It's a good girl. Now, the people that were doing the um actually before, when I said that it takes 6,000 credits to go from one token cache to the next token cache, you are right, that is not entirely accurate. Uh, there is a lot of things that can happen in between two uh, caches. So that was what we would call an opportunity cost. So if you want to buy the credits with the gold or the tokens with the gold, then what you are missing out on when it comes to that is a lot of different types of other goodies in the game itself coming back to you. For example, so you will get a minimum of 500 credits back when it comes to going from one token cash to the next one because every three uh, rewards is going to be 50 tokens, sorry, is going to be 50 credits. Uh, there's 10 in between to token caches, which means you're going to get 500 credits back, guaranteed. Uh, things you can also get in the cash system are going to be credits, boosters, um, tokens themselves, avatars, titles, variants, and of course the coveted golden ticket, which Second Dinner has come out to say that they currently have no plans of removing it or retooling that in the, uh, in the collection track. So. They're here to stay, lucky us. So if you are short on tokens, don't immediately just run to the store themselves to get these tokens to try to fill in the gap. Uh, look at how many credits you may be missing. If it is kind of like an emergency, um, see what you need to get to the next track level because maybe spending the gold to just get a little bit of credits so you can get to that next level will be better than what the store does have to offer. Um, I still don't really recommend ever really buying credits or tokens in the store because there's gonna be other opportunities to get much better values up with uh, through bundles for tokens through credits or gold or money or however else. So let's actually take a look at three different bundles this month. Uh, these three bundles are all $25. Unfortunately, the chromatic charge is gone. Uh, that ended about an hour ago. Sorry about that, guys. But we're still going to use that as a reference. So these are three different bundles that are $25 each. Uh, and each one of them offer a different card and a different currency. So for 3,000 gold, you'll be able to get this $25. And this is actually, when it comes to gold, a really nice bundle. Uh, 3,000 gold in the new token store would get you 25, well, it's 3,100 gold, uh, and that would get you 2,500 credits. So we could say that this is equivalent to 2,500 credits. A little less, slightly, but same thing. Uh, $25 right here, this 2,500 collector's tokens, that's pretty much the same when it comes to the conversion rate. Uh, 3,100 gold in the new shop will buy you 2,500 tokens. So this is actually very similar. There's no real difference when it comes to uh, getting tokens through e each of these bundles. The 4,000 credits when it comes to this, since it's a two to one ratio for credits to tokens, you can say that this is kind of equivalent to 2,000 tokens. This will almost get you to uh, the next token cache if you just completed one. So this one is 500 tokens less, not that great. However, they are so similar to each other that if you did have $25 to spend on this game, my personal suggestion to you would be to get whatever one is either a card variant you like that you really do enjoy, or if you're missing any of these cards, it's not a bad idea if you wanted to pick that up. Let it be known though, let's just say you do not have uh, White Widow and you go and you pick this up. You will get the variant for her. You do not have the base version of her. So in the token packs, then the snap packs, sorry, snap packs, you still can get her. That Having a card where you only have the variant doesn't exclude you, that card from showing up in the bundles. You, you can still get that in the snap packs. So I did forget to change the title of this for Christmas Miracle, reusing this beautiful 
variant of my good little girl who's sleeping behind me. Um, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for, for watching. Hopefully you did learn something. Just as a synopsis about this, that uh, when it comes to getting tokens, credits still may be a really good way to go, even if it's easier just to buy tokens with gold. But this also should show you guys to be very aware of what the bundles are going to be happening that month. Hopefully there'll be more gold bundles that are showing up. And we shouldn't really get too hyped on this just yet because we don't know what's going to be happening with Token Tuesdays or other ways they're going to be helping us get tokens in the future. They did say that they are planning on increasing rewards of tokens. So definitely a great way to go. Like and subscribe if you can. I really do appreciate it. Any other questions you have about uh, currencies, what the best uh, equivalency rate is, bundles you may want to look at, just whatever type of questions about moving forward and being smarter about your resources, drop it down below. Let me know if I made any mistakes in my math. I don't think I did, but I would be happy to be embarrassed online if I did. My father is a math professor and he would be very mad at me about that. Don't spend your spotlight keys. Have a great day.